Showing up as the most authentic version of yourself is not something that happens overnight. For most, it's a process. Today, we're going to talk about growing into the highest expression of your authentic self. I want to talk today about growing into the highest expression of your authentic self. If you follow my social media, my podcast, or if you know me personally, you know that the topic of authenticity is something that's very close to my heart. It's not something that I've always understood, and if I'm being honest, that word only came into my vocabulary maybe about 15 years ago. At the time, I was a couple of years into a business I started providing recruiting services for medical practices. One day I was speaking with someone about my aspirations and my goals for the business and I said something along the lines of, I want to be the best healthcare recruiter in the country. But with so many recruiters out there, how can I convince prospective clients that I'm the best? And the person I was speaking to said, people don't always want someone that's the best. They want someone that's authentic. It was a casual conversation. There was nothing seemingly special about it or different. And that person didn't have any entrepreneurial business or recruiting experience. But something about that statement, people want someone authentic, just stuck with me. Just like a store that you notice for the first time on your route to work, but that's probably been there forever. Every time I drove past that place where we had this conversation, and I passed it often, the message, people want someone who's authentic, kept coming to mind. I didn't realize it, but that was the seed that God wanted to plant in me. By a sower I never expected, a sower that didn't even realize they were sowing. God's funny like that, but that's a topic for another video. I find it interesting that we use the image of planting a seed when describing the moment of inception of something that is to grow and potentially become grand. We know that seeds grow into plants. We can follow the metaphor and see how something goes from a seed to a seedling to eventually its mature form. That mature form, depending on the seed, can produce flowers, vegetables, fruit, medicine, or just a leafy tree and provide shade. But there's a part of this metaphor that often gets overlooked. In order for the seed to grow, it has to be covered with dirt. While in the dirt, it's dark. There may be critters crawling around and starting to pick at it, people walking over it, and other trees around it that are so much farther in their growth process, making them bigger, stronger, and having bared much more fruit. And many times in this process of growth, the seedling or young plant look very different than they will when they finally mature. This young plant, wanting and believing that it can bear fruit, starts to grow flowers. And while the flowers are beautiful and fragrant, it's not what it wanted, it's not what it felt its purpose was, or what it was made for. But that's part of the process, and from those flowers grow the fruit. Your own journey to living as the most authentic expression of yourself is not much different. At some point the seed is planted within you. Sometimes that seed is planted directly by something much bigger than yourself or indirectly by something much bigger than yourself through somebody else. Now, the part that's done for you is the planting of the seed. That's done for you. But if you want it to grow into the most authentic expression of yourself, you have to cultivate it and care for it. But when you make the decision to do so, be prepared to have dirt thrown on you. You'll be in darkness, meaning that there'll be a lot of unknowns. It will require a lot of patience because growing takes time. But if you continue to cultivate and care for the most authentic expression of yourself, it will eventually become a seedling. You'll feel a sense of accomplishment because you toughed it out and you put in the work. You're out of the dirt, you can see the light, and those around you have begun to see the new you. But just like a seedling, this is when you're at your most vulnerable. Your roots are not yet deep, and it's easy to be pulled out of your element. Because you're starting to be seen, you may choose to share the big vision you have for yourself. And sometimes, others fear what you will become and they'll try and crush you. Or they may want what you have to offer and try and uproot you. So in this stage, it's important to be selective with whom you share your vision about what the most authentic expression of yourself looks like. With time, you'll bear fruit, but sometimes there's an intermediate stage where you produce flowers. This might look like getting to a point where you realize that you've grown so much from where you were before. And perhaps you may think that the vision you had of yourself wasn't really what you were destined to become because what you've done has produced these beautiful fragrant flowers. 
So while you are on another level, you revert to being comfortable and stop cultivating and caring for growth. There's nothing wrong with that. You've come a long way. You did put in the effort. You trusted in the process, and here you are. But when we're talking about authenticity and living authentically, we want to strive for the highest expression of our authentic selves. And in order for that to happen, you have to be okay with losing the flowers and losing the fragrance and letting those flowers die. What eventually grows from the stems where the flowers were may not be as fragrant, may not be as colorful, but it is in fact the fulfillment of your nature, your purpose, and as such, the highest expression of your authentic self. And when you begin to produce the fruit you were made for producing, you'll begin to attract others. You'll share that fruit, it will feed them and nourish them in some way, and for some, it may even plant a seed in them. When you reach this highest level of authentic expression, you'll produce fruit for years to come. You see, you have to understand one very important thing about authenticity. If authenticity was a goal, then the tree would die when it finishes producing its first fruit. But authenticity is a journey, a process that's ongoing until the moment we take our last breath. You don't always know when the seed was planted in you. Some people are just born knowing what they want and how to be authentic. Some people realize it in their adolescence or early adulthood. And some discover it much later in life. But everyone has a highest expression of their authentic self. And if it feels like the seed hasn't been planted in you yet, it will be. And that's the thought I wanted to share with you for today. If you feel you received something from this, or if you want to share something about your authenticity seed, growth, or highest expression, tell me in the comment section. If you feel that you need clarity on what the highest expression of your authentic self looks like in your life, or if you started your journey and feel stuck, then working with a coach may help you get there faster and provide a lot of important tools and lessons along the way. My name is Marco Benitez, also known as Coach Marco B, and I'm a certified professional coach specializing in authenticity coaching. If you need support on your journey, you can post a question in the comment section, follow me on social, listen to my podcast, or reach out on my website, coachmarcob.com. And I'll leave you with this final thought. Remember that you can fail at what you don't want, so you might as well take a chance at doing what you love. And I'll see you in the next video.